video we are going to see how to make this 3D part and the drawing details are given in this picture. You can download the drawing details from the link given in the description box and using these drawing details we are going to make the 3D part of it in Autodesk Inventor software. Here you are going to learn the new concept called intersection curve. First we are going to draw the 2D sketch and I am going to choose this plane XY plane and first I am going to draw this curve. Now I am going to draw this curve. This height it is given as 50 mm height and the radius is 60 mm and the distance of the center of the arc is from the origin is also 60 mm and this arc is also of radius 60 mm and this vertical line is at a distance of 50 mm from the origin so this is 50 mm and I am going to draw the arc And from here one more arc and from here the straight line. This is 60 mm and from this it is also 60 mm and I am going to move this little bit this side and this one is also 60. And the distance from this point to this point it is given as 10 mm. And from here to here it is 50 mm. The height is actually not given but you have to give it but it should be more than 200. I am going to give it as 250. And now the sketch is fully constrained and you will click on finish sketch. And now we will click at, we will create an other 2D sketch that is this part and this center line we are going to draw and I am going to choose this plane and we will draw the part and arc. And again a straight line. Now I am going to add tangent constraint Now I will add the tangent constraint First I am going to dimension this This height it is given by 150 mm And this Distance is 100 mm. 100 mm. Now I will add tangent constraint and I will give the radius as 70 mm. Now the sketch is fully constrained and we will click on finish sketch. Now we will click on start 3D sketch. And here you are having the new option called intersection curve. Just click on intersection curve and select these two curves and then click on OK. Now you can see that the new curve has been formed which is the projection of this curve on this curve. That is it is represented by a yellow line and we will click on finish sketch. Now we don't need these two sketches which we have drawn it. So we will hide those two sketches and now we will create the this profile by using the option sweep and first draw this profile that is this triangular profile. To draw that triangular profile we need a plane. So we will create a plane just choose this point and this curve. The plane has been created. Now we will click on start 2D sketch. Now first I am going to project this point so that locating the center point is easy. So we will click on this point and then click on project geometry. 
and now I'm going to create a polygon that is I'm going to draw a three-sided triangle now I'm going to make this horizontal now I'm going to add radius of fillet which is shown over here as 15 mm Now I am going to add the dimensions from here to here it is given as 50 mm and from this point to this point it is 25 by default it is already taken and now we are going to create this holes. And I'm going to add the dimension to, to these holes and it is given as 15 mm. And now we'll click on finish sketch. Now we are going to, I'm sorry, we have forgotten one more thing. I'm going to edit the sketch. And I'm going to draw the two circles. And I'm going to dimension it. The outer dimension of this part is given as 60 mm in dia, and the, the suction view they are given the inner diameter as 50 mm. So we are going to make this one as 60 and this one as 50. Now I'm going to give relations. Now it is fully constrained and now we'll click on finish sketch. I'm going to hide this work plane. And now we are going to use the option called sweep. Now I'm going to choose only this part and I'm going to choose this path yellow, yellow line. And now I'll click on OK. Now again I am going to enable this visibility of the sketch because I need to use this again and now I will use the option extrude and I am going to choose this profile and the thickness it is given as 15 mm inside. So I am going to change the direction and the distance is 15 mm and I am going to click OK. Now I am going to hide the sketch Now the part has been done You can see and now I am going to add visuals to it Now I am going to add the appearance to it You can add it whichever one I am just doing it for just for the visualization purpose I'm going to add as steel polished and I'm going to change it to realistic. Now you can see the 3D part of this drawing has been made. Alright guys, thank you for watching my video. If you like my video, please like and subscribe and comment for any suggestions in the comment box.